I think actually um, we really like to play the old songs because we get a very great response from, from the audience. If, if we are very tired of a song, we just let the audience sing. <laughs> Do the job. It was just an easy choice for us to, to say yes to this show uh, because uh, we, we get to come to Singapore. We love to be here, we love our Singapore audience and at the same time we can play for a good cause and uh, help some people that, that need it and so it was an easy choice. I think we all know people with the condition, with uh, dementia and personally I know uh, a, a, a man, he's uh, 80 something years old right now and he's slowly di disappearing because he's having a hard time remembering people and, and um, that's very tough for both him and his family. And that's what I think is, a, is the tough thing about being around people with dementia because uh, people are there physically but mentally they are sometimes not there. What I know that they do in order to keep contact and to to cope with the situation is that they used to sing a lot. They play old songs, sing old songs, and it's clearly that it has an effect uh, and it makes memories come around and suddenly this guy remembers old songs, can sing them, even though he maybe didn't remember what was going on two minutes ago, and that's why I hope that maybe our songs can be helpful too for some people. I remember uh, walking around in Singapore some decades ago, and, and I thought uh, that I would love to write a, a song, especially for, for, for Singapore, for the way I felt when I walked around here. And that song became actually Pain My Love. So Pain My Love is actually a song that, that I kind of invented walking around in Singapore a decade ago. We don't know really, but uh, of course the support we get from the fans is one of the most important things actually, because we feel that we are relevant because people keep listening to us, keep supporting us, and that makes us go on. Musically, I think that Michael and Ciroc have actually never changed much. <laughs> we never tried, deliberately tried to change the style of music that we do. And I think that's one of the keys to our success, actually. Yeah, and the world is changing so fast these, time, these days that I think what we like, I mean, we don't change that fast. Uh, we still listen to classic rock and pop bands who don't change. We, 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 we're still in a musical kind of way living in, in the past. I think actually um, we really like to play the old songs because we get a very great response from, from the audience when we play a lot of the old songs. If we are very tired of a song, we just let the audience sing. <laughs> Do the job. There is no secret. <laughs> it's not something that we... Uh, the secret is we never use... Uh, uh, we don't use Botox and we just... We, we never changed anything about our looks. So we don't do anything. We play music, I guess. Play music. Yeah. <laughs> creating a